Hey there students, I'm making this short video to inform you on some of the frequently asked questions and best practices when it comes to this extra credit assignment known as the Three Paradigms paper that you may or may not attempt to write within this course. This paper can be a bit confusing if you don't get what I wrote off the bat, so this video is made to ease the understanding and provide clarity, and I hope it helps. The main objective of this paper is to test you and have you attempt to be a sociologist just for a moment in your life, per se. I want you to take the three paradigms, that being functionalism, social conflict theory, and symbolic interactionalism, and apply one of those to a topic of your choice. It is as simple and as complex as that. Some fun examples I've seen in the past have been a functionalist view on Disney characters and the character of the princess in distress. I am a bad feminist, a view into Disney princesses from a conflict approach, and the way money makes the world go round, a interactionalist approach to material goods. Now, these are just some papers I've received, graded, and found to be going an extra step and making the extra credit assignment fun and personal. You can do whatever you'd like. This is a task assignment and a chance to have fun with sociology, and that is the major goal of this optional assignment to get points towards your grade. I'm looking to, for you to show understanding, and it doesn't need to be long-winded, nor does it need to be short as well. It has a minimum of 500 words, but there is no maximum, and you can go and get as detailed or lack thereof as you'd like. This is meant to be a fun dive into the theorist thinking and paradigms that they have in mind. Don't overthink it and just have fun with it. I want you to explore your subjective thoughts. And I am not trying to test your knowledge of sociology per se, but your understanding and your views tied to the way of thinking that are connected to these paradigms. I hope you have fun and I look forward to reading your submissions. Make sure to view the guidelines and details if you have any other further questions or want further information. You can also reach out to me via email if you need more clarity. Thank you so much and I look forward to reading your submissions.